Hello and welcome to the Fusion Children's Ministry Podcast. My name is Brent Colby. And I'm Stephen Salmon, just like the fish. Today on the podcast, we are talking about a very important subject, Stephen. We're talking about getting stuff done. And today's episode, as always, is not sponsored by Star Wars. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, getting stuff done. But first, I heard you got something awesome. I do, I do. Um, I never know what these are. You <clears throat> surprise me every single time. First off, we need to lay a little groundwork here. Okay. The Amazon Echo. Are you familiar yeah. with this device? Alexa. It's a little computer sure. that sits in your home and you can talk to it. It'll play music, yeah, timers, yeah, yeah. tasks, It'll give you a little Wikipedia facts. Yes. Things we like. used to talk to each other, now we talk to little, little computers. That's exactly right. Okay. So somebody has taken it upon himself okay. to take a, uh, the brains of one of these devices and put them into... Well, I just have to show you, in fact. And you're this is definitely a his self. Okay, yes. yeah, this, this video, is definitely a his self. <laughs> this video is titled The Future, and I just want to share it okay. with you right now. The Future. The Future. Alexa, what's the weather? <laughs> Currently, in Cambridge, it's 45 degrees with showers. Tonight, you can look for rainy weather with a low of 43 degrees. How wonderful is that? <laughs> Can you imagine that Cambridge thing on your too? Wall? I know. So it's some guy at Cambridge who's got like what? He's at school there and he's just like, you know what? I'm gonna take Alexa and I'm gonna put it in my fish. Some engineer, yeah, yeah, with too much time. It was on weird when it's saying to you the don't worry, be happy, it's even weirder now. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. I like it. So yeah. something, <laughs> something you, awesome. <laughs> something for you to look forward to. All right. Talking about how to get things done. What do you do? I mean, you guys you guys have a busy schedule, you yeah. have a busy life. How do you keep track of all the stuff and how are you productive each week? Well, there's a couple different things out there, but a really good tool is called Basecamp. Okay. Basecamp, it's a project tool and it, it allows um, you to get a lot of people involved and see progress and people give updates on different things that they're doing. And so it's more of a, um, like a, a, a a hands-on sort of project or something that you know you can you, it has a, a very clear start and end date it's not something like um, a spiritual project or something for okay. students it, that probably okay. wouldn't work um, but if it's like hey we're gonna redesign this room or we need to get this camp done or this these kinds of things it's really good for that okay so and is it it manages tasks can yeah. you invite other people to you it? You can invite other just... people on. You just have to have an account. Then you can bring people into your account, which is really cool, and just sends them a quick email and brings them in. Then they can um, get their pieces done, upload it, and you can have all the different projects, all the different pieces that you're working on in there, and people can check it off. You can see exactly where it has a cool timeline piece, shows you percentages and different things. Yeah. So, what are, really some fun. The, what are some of the benefits you found of using a tool, that tool or tools like that? I mean, how does it change the way? It just keeps it all in one place rather than it being all over the place and different people not being sure what it is they're actually doing. And um, email is great, but again, you might be emailing someone and they might want a different person on the project might wonder, hey, what's going on with this? And Basecamp, you can see it all. Everyone can see exactly where each other's at and hold each other accountable like, hey, you know what, I need this uh, thing from uh, this other person. And then you see that as a leader and going, oh, okay, yeah, hey, where is that? You can follow up with that person too and then see it all. And what's really cool is Basecamp, it costs money. Mm -hmm. It does have a cost, but um, they give it out for free to educators. Oh, okay. And so I actually called them up and was like, hey, uh, as a pastor, I've got students who come in every single week on um, Sundays. Uh, does this apply to me too? And they're like, absolutely, yeah. You got students, then great. And so I, they, I get it for free, and I that should work for anybody who's a pastor out there who works in a church. You know, get, you get it for free, and it's a cool program that they have. And so it's a very powerful tool, but you, you got to use it right, and you got to use it for the right stuff. So. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Yeah. What about you, Brent? You know, we have. Um, I like you know productivity stuff. I'm kind of a geek about it. I've yeah. used a lot of pretty much everything. Um, and Basecamp is one that we've put a lot of great use to. Yeah. Asana is one we're using now. I find Basecamp is excellent for managing projects, if yeah, you have yeah. multiple projects. Um, Asana adds kind of one layer to that, and you can manage sure. teams. 
So oh, okay. you have teams that have projects. So cool. it helps a little bit if you're very high level stuff. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's something that we use. But even with good systems, I've found that my productivity, my getting stuff done formulas can yeah, get yeah. really disrupted if I don't know how to prioritize what comes first right. when. Right. Basecamp <laughs> doesn't do the work for you. No, it doesn't. Yeah. And I think a lot of times people get frustrated because they run into the same problems. Right. They have a good system. Right, they read the book, they did the whatever, sure. but it's still kind of falling off the tracks yeah. at whatever point for them. Right. Yeah. And I think a key part for all of us is to figure out how to prioritize what work is most important. Mm. Yeah. Um, President Eisenhower, you heard of this guy before? Yeah. <laughs> yes, President of the of United him. States of America. Wasn't alive then, but I have heard of him. <laughs> he is famous for um, putting forth this idea of how to process information as it comes in. Is that what he's famous for? Well, among other things. <laughs> so he had uh, just a simple grid, and I'm sure other people did this before him, but he had two columns, right? Important, not important. Sure. Right? So you can imagine all the things in your life that are yeah. important and important. all the things. Winning the war, right. not important. <laughs> Anything else. Anything else, yeah. <laughs> so his grid may have been filled up, it may look like that for right. about four or five years. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, also he had two other categories. So things were either important or not important. Yeah, yeah. And at the same time, they were either urgent or not urgent. Oh, interesting. Okay, so cool. So in life, of course, the things that are urgent and important, we do automatically. We don't have to think about right. those things. Yeah, right, yeah, because they're right there. <laughs> right, your house is on fire, you're <laughs> yeah. hungry for lunch. I don't know. Whatever yeah, it is. Yeah, like whatever it is. Yeah. But uh, it's the things that are urgent and not important that often trip us up because mm. those things will do their best to come in front of the things that are important but not oh, urgent. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. so for me, regardless of the tool that I use, I have to keep in mind, is this really important and what things you know, things that aren't going to blow up but right. over the course of time are going to be way more important do I need to right, stick right, to. Right, right, right. Oh, that's good. That's really good. So, yeah, we'd love to hear if you guys use uh, different software or productivity tools and just kind of check it out yeah. in the comments Great below. Great book, something, yeah. Yeah. It'd be awesome. Well, I have a little game I'd like to play with you if we Great. get a chance. Okay. Now, uh, in Google, as you type in things, we right. were looking at different productivity softwares and realizing that um, there's lots of apps online. But I was remembering in Google, if you start typing out a sentence, they rolled out a future feature many years ago where it will autocomplete your sentence. Okay. So we're going to play the Google autocomplete game. Oh and boy. you two can All play right. at home. I'm going to start a sentence, and you're going to guess what the next word is in that sentence. Okay. And we're going to compare your answer with the results we get from Google. Okay. Does that make sense? All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Got so um, let me... word versus Google. Okay. We're going to uh, record this real quick so we can share at home. We're going to screen record. Okay. Here we go. Start recording. Okay. Excellent. So, Stephen. Okay. Uh, yeah. What number one is, is this. Um, the phrase I would like you to complete is, I am hungry for blank. I am hungry for tacos. Okay. I am hungry for, the answer is you. I am hungry for you. <laughs> okay. All, All right. right. People are weird. That's weird. <laughs> All, right. All right. What do you got? Uh, let's see. Um, ooh, okay. What is the best. What is the best? I'm going to say the answer is what is the best sandwich? What is the best sandwich? No, okay. What is the best Pokemon? Pokemon. What's the best Pokemon? Pokemon. We should have known. Oh my okay. gosh. Okay, here's one. Google Pokemon. Uh, this one is where can I hide my. Where blank? can I hide my. <laughs> no idea what's going to come up. We may have to edit this out. Uh, where can I hide my dirty clothes? Okay. I don't know. Where can I hide my weed? Where can I weed. hide my weed? It's Washington. Should have known it. Yep. Where, where, well, you where, don't have to hide weed in Washington. <laughs> that's true. All right, one last one. What do you got? All right. Uh, um, I don't know. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, who are the... Oh, this is good. Who are the... Who are people that you've heard of, but you don't quite know who they are? Who are the, I'm gonna go with. Who, yeah, this is your question. Who I, are, I have one that I would Who are the Beatles? That's what it's gonna be. No, who no, no are way. The, who are the electors? Electors. <laughs> or the who, are elect the, who are the electors? The elector is like for the election? I don't know. We you, are. You are the yeah. elector. All right. Sorry. Not you, Google, but whoever is Googling that, you, you, it's you. 
Well, Steven Man. and I, what we're gonna do oh, is boy. we're gonna put some links to some of our favorite things in the description of the video that describe some of the tools that we like. And if you have a tool that you some like to books. use, some good books, yeah. if you have something you like, it's a great resource on helping you get stuff done, we'd love to hear about it. Let us know, yeah, because we can talk about it in a later episode and say, hey, uh, so-and-so showed us this and it's really changed our lives, because that'd be awesome. That's right. All right, thanks so much, guys. We'll see you next time. We'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.